Hello everyone. In the end I actually started to enjoy this game. Let's see how long I can play it. Okay, where am So holy crap, it's a long way. This is dwarf land. Yeah, I guess let's see. Just go. <laughs> that was fun. Wow. What scared next? me. Boindil looks at you, and the sparkle in his eyes goes out. We are both very you sorry about scared what me. happened here, You told me, Cynthia said. I convinced myself that you gulp and turn away from your friends. And I guess I will have to fight now. Just a peaceful evening in wilderness. Okay, not so peaceful anymore. Ha! That's what I call a goodly challenge. Cover me. Goodly not challenge. Not a good idea if you want to go on living, dwarf. Wow. You've got quite a big mouth for someone who sounds like a girl. <laughs> You are Amdekai, the Tempestuous, right? Correct. And you are Tungdil, Lot Yonan's charge. Charge, yeah, right. Okay, what news? Honorable Mega, what news of Lot Yonan? Does he live? Amdekai Does looks he? at you in silence, pain and rage slowly spreading across her face. He is dead, Tungdil, along with Myra, Turga, and Sabora. Hmm. Nod on killed they are them dead. all and destroyed the Council of Magi. The certainty of their death is painful. It feels as though someone has just torn your insides out. He killed their best pupils too. And now he's the unchallenged Magus in Girdleguard. Uh, what about your companion? Your companion, won't he sit with us and introduce himself? Yes! It's a hey, golem, I you think. Up there. Can you even hear us with that bucket on your head? There's nothing. Jerun is mute, and he won't do you any harm unless oh. I command him to. And as long as you treat him with courtesy, dwarf. Boindil seems to briefly weigh up his chances against the two of them. I decide when I'm courteous. Just don't get in my way. And the orcs are mine. Yeah, last time we had to run. Orcs are mine. What exactly happened this council? Happened? How could he defeat the Council of Magi? Nudin called us to Parista. Nudin. Under the guise of reinforcing the barrier against the perished land. Instead, he tricked us, took control of most of our powers and attacked us. How could I cut he him down take with my sword, but he rose again and power. impaled me with his staff. All I can remember after that is the sound of fighting destruction and cries of death how did you survive Jerun, how did it take over your Nudin power had forgotten he was with me in parista he found me tended to my wounds and brought me out of the city to safety until i could summon up enough power to heal myself and lot yonan when Jerun carried me away he was frozen in stone like a statue to my knowledge, the spell cannot be reversed. You nod slowly. I guess it can be reversed. You don't have the strength to say anything else right now. Now I have two woman voices in my head. It was you, wasn't it, that attacked them with the lightning? Were you any more successful than we were? Andakai shakes her head. He defied everything I threw at him. All of my skills. In vain. I soon realized he was superior to me, but I wanted to buy you some time. Why can you still Not use fabulous, magic? Not on you change the magical fields, but you still seem to be able to use them. Andakai smiles. I'm not quite as benevolent as the other magi. My god Samusin is the god of balance. He loves the darkness as much as the light, which means I can use both. But my powers aren't unlimited. It is difficult for me to store and use this altered magic. 
We should avoid confrontation as much as possible. I think I possible. got the fourth party member. That lady. What will you do now? Leave this place. I'm not so foolish as to believe that I could restrain oh, the yeah. perished land or nod on. Why should I stay here? How foolish are you? Foolish? Exactly. No! <laughs> but cowardly! You're on your way to the kingdom of the secondlings, right? Then I will accompany hmm. you and leave Girdleguard by the high pass. We'll need all the help we can get. Nod on will have a lot worse right. in store you for us than just a party orcs. member. The Mager nods in agreement. Then she looks pensively at your rucksack. Your rucksack? Why did Nod On want it? I I was taking some objects to Goren. Dwarf one of not lie. Family. Dwarves are greedy little bastards, but not liars. There were books lying next to his body, which he was planning to send to Turga the Fair Faced. May I see them? You nod. Take the books out of your rucksack. <laughs> I didn't even have a chance. She goes through the letter and the books, one after another, without showing any sign of emotion. Finally, she closes the last of the books. Is that all? They are only sagas and travelogues from the Outer Lands, which tell of legendary creatures and myths. I don't know why they should be of interest to nod on. There must Maybe be there something myth? in them that's important to him. He destroyed a whole village for them, and... And the vaults. Possibly. I'll study the books. Vault 76 but let's sleep is still. Now. Okay. Jeroen can keep watch. We are still being followed. By whom? Same guy. So I loaded this instance just to see this all. Okay. Okay. Oh. Orc horde. Orc horde, really? Freaks, they are following me. Ah! The they path actually... leads you through a ravine whose steep walls Holy are Holy crap, made just check this out. <laughs> you could probably cause a rock fall that would block your pursuer's path Oops. and obstruct your way back. It takes longer than you would have liked to trigger uh, a rock fall that is big enough. That's bad. But when the dust settles, Oh, no. You realize that you have been rewarded for your troubles. The I am victorious. I have a blocked path. Okay. In the afternoon, with the sun low in the sky, the path leads you through a ravine. A glance at your map suggests that you're near to Boribor, the Orc realm. Fracas, may we remain unscathed. About a mile further on, Boindil suddenly stops in his tracks and sniffs. Can you smell that? Piggy snouts and Piggy, lots of Piggy them too. Snouts. Let's proceed with caution. Perhaps we can take a few of them out before they raise the alarm. Don't load. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. What do you have? You know what, Boindil? You suck. I will take this beautiful boy. Okay, so this one has blah blah. This one has. What do you have? You probably want some healing and you want some health, don't you? This is interesting. Okay, let's check out. Oh, big boy. We also have a big boy. Oh no, there are small, lots of small boys. Monkeys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can select them from here. Huh? 
Let's wait for monkeys to come closer and... Monkeys. Um, they did not come here. Where are they? Okay, let's see what we can do. Yes. Where's yes. my jumping guy? Mm -hmm. Oh, jumping. Oh. Uh, energy beams that deals damage to every unit's path and push them back. Chain lightning. Blast. And what do you have? Mighty blow kick. Okay. Uh, I guess I had to run actually. Bad idea. That's what it's done. Up there. We have to stop them before they can warn anyone. Okay. Way. Let's stop them before they what can warn. It? What do you have? Blast. Booms. You will blast. Huh? Ah. Uh huh? And you'll just... No, too close. We'll just attack this one. Then. Yeah! Hmm? What is it? This oh, is going what to bad luck for you! And I didn't even take off my gloves. You don't have gloves, do you? I'll okay. tell you when I'm ready. Um, you yes. are ready. I didn't hit you very hard. Feel my power, wild creature. If right. I have to, and just oh, kill them. Luck for you. This one's running backwards. Oh, fall down, the yes. Shit. Uh, let's pretend. Oh, there are many. Hmm? Let's try lightnings. Huh? Ah! Oh, you fell. Oh my god. Too easy. Huh? Oh, have to. oh, big one. Mm, yes. Yes. What is it? Well, you now you've got me interested. I know. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. I pushed them all off cliff. I mean, my own guys. Oops. Temp number two. You want power, you want healing, and you want a start fight. Uh -huh. That's oh, good as done. Not a bad idea. Out of my way. Oh, oh, it's up to. there. We have to stop them before they can warn anyone. Okay. What stop. is it? Why it's so bright? Can't see anything. This brightness. Huh? You just yes. go and you just go. 
Oh my god. What is it? Huh? Just move On my already. way. Oh, you can actually do this. And Say goodbye that. forever. Okay, reboot. What is Good it? Guys. What a waste oh, of time. What bad luck for you. I didn't hit you very hard. That's not good a bad stuff. idea. I'm if I have to. On oh, my way. What is that noise? I mean, oh, okay. I'm not right. a bad idea. Stop. Why do hmm? you keep telling about ideas? Another one bites the dust. Understood. Right, then. No, 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 don't go. Kill them. <laughs> These two are scared. What is now, it? if I drop this crap here, something funky should happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can do that again. You can do that again. Magic takes time. Uh, okay. Magic takes time. Not in this game. <laughs> okay. So, you should actually move. Yes. All regroup. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. And I didn't even take off my gloves. Gloves. Hmm? Yes. What a waste of time. Agreed. Just kill them already. Actually, big boy must die. Too easy. Mm, what is it? Yeah. No chance. Okay, big boy. Can you? Oh yeah, do this, please. What is it? Uh, you also do this. Hmm. And you can do some lightnings. No, it doesn't work. What is this Scorch energy beam? Mm. Oh? What is it? Oh, what bad luck for you! <laughs> He's kicking them. Bad luck for now you. Now you've got me interested. I know, right? I... What is it? Okay, kill this guy. It's annoying here. And then this guy. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Okay, let's have some fun. She has even sword. Yes. What kind of... Come on, you are standing there, really. Okay, you have something funny. <laughs> he jumped. Okay. You now probably... you've got me interested. Uh, I don't think so. 
No, 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 okay. Not a waste of time. Kill this one. Over here. And back. <laughs> Shit. I scared my own guy. Uh, that sucks. Well, or oh, 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 yeah, I need to be careful. I need to be careful what I'm doing with these oh, guys. Okay, scary. Oh, it's caps huh? locks. Neat. Yes. You're badly positioned, you know that. Okay. Now you've got me interested. Yeah. It's a little funny. Yeah. And I didn't even take off my gloves. Holy crap. I didn't hit you very hard. And again. No chance. Oh! Where did you come from? Nobody was supposed to be there. I th think I probably will not go there. Otherwise, I accidentally will. Come on! I killed them too quickly. Yeah? Okay, let's go. That's not a bad idea. I don't have to. Stop. What Lady. You scare yes. these freaks. You just. Oh, you can't do it. What is it? Hmm? Well. Yeah. Stop. And once more, please. Uh huh. End it, huh? What is it? What is it? Nothing. Oh shit, you actually should move. Not a bad idea. I know. Right. Come on. If I have Another to. one bites the dust. Uh, the problem is now. I think I'll push my own guys. Yet. Oh my god. Okay, all come back. Come back all. Stop. You should scare them. Oh, big guys. Oh no, big guy is not scared. Or is it? And I didn't even take off my gloves. What a waste of time. Going, 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 going. On my way. Feel my power. Too easy. No, we're 
pleasure. Huh? Hmm? Oh, you didn't hit your very hard. No A waste of time. Shit. Pow! Another what one bites it? the dust. End Feel it. my power. Come on. Well, it was not scary at all. Maybe, maybe not. Kill big boy first, please. Uh huh? What is it? Now you've got me interested. Hey, Dragonheart. Okay, you all should run. Okay, big boy is down. Alright my power. Don't just stand there. They're hitting me pretty hard. Dwarves. Too easy. Do you think it's smart? Just letting me die over here? Uh, no, apparently not. Why oh, it's so light? Come on. What is it? Oh, oh what bad luck for you! No, not space legs. Space legs will never come. And I didn't even take off my gloves. Oh, this will be funny. Ooh. Run. That's a good bad idea. Pleasure. Just kill this guy. I need help over here, quickly. They're hitting me pretty hard. Oh, 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 I oh, need help oh, over here, you. quickly. But this is going pleasure. to hurt. Agreed. Now you've got me interested. So, the question is where I should go now. And I didn't oh. even take off my gloves. Uh, Dragon Hearts, there will be games that we'll have all we want. I hope so. <laughs> In our lifetime. What is it? On my way. That's my hope. Kill. Hoping in Elite, it's pointless in my opinion. Another one bites the dust. And yep. again. So, what do I need to do? Exit reached. Oops, exit. Oh, I guess this is exit. Hmm? Not a bad done. idea. Uh, oh, no, that's exit. If I have to. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We should go down into the caves and vaults. <laughs> There'll be more of them down there. Come on, guys, follow us. Or maybe big we boy. should concentrate on finally getting to Ogre's Death Stronghold, Boindil. You ignore the offended look on your friend's face and set off, leaving the Orc Mountains behind you. That's it? Zero from four exits? Mm, this is kind of story, single player storyline about saving the world from nasty elves and perished land. I just started today. I got it from Humble Bundle, so I decided to give it a try. This is like a big nose. Oh, this is cool. Oink, oink. Yeah, I like that. Orc horde. Oh, I need to go here now. Come on! You put out a plate of food for the night every evening since Jerun and Andakai joined you on your journey. But for still, none night. of you have seen him eat. You decide to pay particular attention to him this evening to try mm. and find out what is under the helmet. 
Andakai is sitting not far from the giant, studying the books. Have you found anything useful yet? She looks up at you. You think I will stay and fight if there is a spell in the books that might defeat Nodon? Just a story. Yours is the god of some balance. RPG Don't you elements. see it as your duty to create some a balance between light and dark? Combat. Instead of answering, Andakai rubs her eyes and closes the books. It's too dark to study. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Disgruntled to watch the Mega as she walks over to her bed it's like for the night. Your eyes fall upon Jeroon and the plate at his feet, on which not a crumb of food is left. I have food. Uh, wait, I need to see where I need to go. Okay, this is right way. Bombs. Freaking orcs, get lost! Oh my god, they are following me. Ah. It sometimes feels like table top, you can you know, already table see game. the oasis a day's journey away. But in the glimmer of the midday sun, <laughs> oh, you're not God. sure whether it might not just be a mirage. But the twins are convinced that there is a village here, and the prospect of a roof over your heads for the night. Keeps no you roof, going. we need to run. The or cord is behind the us. Oasis, Shut the up. more <laughs> the uneasy feeling grows that something's not right. Yeah, it's too quiet. This is what's and not you right. Don't see <laughs> <any> quiet. <laughs> Once you enter the village, your fears are confirmed. Your enemies have already been here. They are actually behind us, not <laughs> in front of us. Gee. Oh, we are five. That means I can't. Yeah, I can move only one. Where is everyone? Yeah, where is Hello? everyone? Anyone here? You all jump. You look angrily at Boindil, who shrugs his shoulders in apology. Should probably save. So you are given these instances where you can explore something. Oh, this is loud. Don't try to sneak this dwarf. He's too loud. There's something here. What? And what now? This whole thing is probably a trap. We should. It's a trap. To pass now. Oh. I'm sure the citizens would greet you themselves. Freaking elf. If they could. You recognize the elf immediately. You saw him with the leaders of the orcs, and he appeared to you in a dream after Greenglade. Or no. Not in a dream. Sintharas. So we meet again, Tangdil. What we do you think again, of my work Tangdil. in the vaults? It was Voice acting nice is funny start, in this game. Sometimes it? it's over the top. An eerie smile sets on Sintharas's lips. Wonderful. I can see the hatred in your eyes. This is Come really on. bad acting. Come and get your revenge. Uh, fight again. Zero injury. You can get injured. It's, it's maybe Dragon Sage you can compare it with. Not really. Something similar. So. I'm sorry, why the hell did you go there? Oh, there are... Okay, orcs behind us. Orcs here. Yes? Come on! I'll go. All against oh, this crap. What do you mean? Waste? Oh, he's teleporting, yeah? This will be a messy fight now. Oh, Stop. Now let's have fun. Okay, let's knock him out. What is it? Um. Huh? Mm. Oh, you can actually do that. Yeah. Ah, oh, lady. Forgot now about you. Got me interested. Oops, you are so far away. This is bad. 
Oops. Well. I think you will die. No chance. What is it? Where's that stupid elf? Oh my god. Okay, run, 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 run. Just go, sir. Please, please, please. Just go, go, go. Kill this sucker. Pretty sure you can't kill him. Oh. This is annoying. Ah. No stop. You know what? He actually has half health already. Urgh. So uh -huh. who? Okay, you are, and sir. What now? What now? Mm. This is blade storm. That can do. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I would like you all to hit this guy. Okay. Hit it, hit it! Put up a fight! This is going to hurt. And please try it again. What is it? What is it? A bit of health. Okay, you can you can jump. Huh? Stop. Uh huh? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think I almost Retreat. succeeded. Back. Why are you here? Why and are you, you here? Possibly still use magic. Yeah, good the luck. The one person your master left living is the one you would least like to have as an enemy. Go on, little Alf. Flee. Your magic saved you this time. But next time, I'll be prepared. You realize you could just hit him and kill him, not stand and talk with him. Yeah, yeah, run. It's too late. I've had enough of fighting. Really? It's about time we head to your home. Oh, you've had enough too. But we've got several days in the desert ahead of us before we can enjoy a cold beer. Okay. The longer we talk about it, the later we'll get to our beer. Let's go. I visited a couple shops and merchants and there was no beer. Level up, level up, level up. Okay, what do you have? Damage boost for sure, the time it was 15. Mm, all attacks and this. I don't know. What do we have here? And this. And that. I would like to see what exactly is short while. It's a minute. 10 seconds, 5 seconds. Mm, okay. Jix, let's save. Freaking orcs behind me! You've been traveling through the desert for days. The sand is simply everywhere. In your shoes, under your clothes, 
in your mouths. Even the makeshift cloths that you've wrapped around your heads is of little help. With the last of the energy you can muster, you finally leave the 40-mile-wide sandbar that separated you from Ogre's death. It is as if you've passed through an invisible wall There's an orc when the raging wind and sand me. suddenly fall silent. Right behind me. In front of you, an enormous massive towers into the sky, the Blue Range. The slopes cast long shadows over Ogre's death Oops, fortress, I have no food. which nestles in the spurs of Crap. the mountain. Even from this distance, it looks impressive, with its four defensive terraces, one blah, blah, above blah, the blah, other. Blah, blah, blah. Just show the me. anticipation of entering a real dwarven city for the first time grows with every step, and you feel the power returning to your limbs. You've almost done it. Let's see how orcs live. Who well, orcs? Dwarves live in this game. My high king, you have called me to succeed you to the throne. Here uh, I stand before has you. a long beard. Well, <coughs> before you are chosen as the successor to the high king, here, King Gandagar, the challenges that await you. Hordes of orcs are rampaging through the they north and the west, right and city. the perished land is stirring. It would seem that the Magi cannot sustain the barriers. This gives us an excellent opportunity to attack the last elves in Allendor. They are weakened. The perished land afflicts them. Let us wipe out the traitors once and for all. Yes, right. Exactly. Mm. Oh, there are more dwarves. Madness. What are you talking about? I do not recognize you, King Gandagar, in what you are saying. The elves are inhabitants of Girdlegard. Has your hatred for them clouded your senses to the point that you wish to ignore the words of our god? Belendelin's gaze falls, as if incidentally, on the king of the Fourthling's advisor. Or is someone giving you bad advice? On the contrary, it was Bislipper who finally supplied me Bislipper. with the proof. A report titled, How the Fifflings Lost the Gate. It was the elves that poisoned the brave fifling warriors fifling. in their stronghold. A devious disease spread by the pointy ears in the shafts of the Grey Range. Impossible! I always knew it! Treason! I don't believe that. They should that. pay for Just it! Just the pointy ears! Enough! Don't be so short-sighted! the pointy ears! We are talking about the safety of Girdle Guard. We must reach out and forge a large coalition. With the elves, yes, and even with the thirdlings, if we are to defeat the perished thirdlings land. Thirdlings are dwarf killers. My high king, you cannot be serious. Drivel from a dwarf who has grown too old in his post. Are we not here to choose a new high king? We have waited long enough. <laughs> they have piercings, these guys. It is funny. Dwarves it would piercings. seem you will have to wait a little bit longer. The second aspirant has arrived. Second aspirant. Our guests must be tired from their long journey. Actually, we are the hungry. The meeting is adjourned till tomorrow. Can you give me some food, please? <laughs> I have zero. Well, it looks cool. First person to be even cooler. But why do you think that I... Everything will become clear. I've had a room prepared for you. Before you take to your bed, Please pay the High King and I a visit in the throne room. Couldn't you just deliver me, sir? What is this? Oops. 
I think I entered the wrong room. Tongdil, come closer. The power that the old High King radiated when he called the assembly to order has drained away from him. His body is sunken in the throne, but his eyes are alert and interested as he looks at you. The lost son returns to his people. Thank Vrakus. Tell us what you learned on your journey. You describe your adventure down to the smallest detail. Neither the king nor his advisor interrupts you. From time to time they nod, as though they were already aware of certain facts. Their brows become more furrowed with every passing minute. When you're finished with your story, you also have some questions. I don't want to appear ungrateful, I, and I'm happy to finally be among my people, but, but I will not ascend the throne. I hardly know anything about our customs and laws. Everything that I know, I have learned from books that Lot Yonan gave me. There must be more suitable heirs than me. Your renouncement honors you. But to be honest, you never had a claim. To stop Gandagar, we had to stall for time. Lot Yonan helped us with our little story. We don't even know if you are a fourth thing. The King's advisor misinterprets your unbelieving gaze and quickly adds... Uh, we're only being as deceitful as goblins for one solitary reason. To stave off possible harm to our people. You feel as though you've been hit in the stomach. If this is true, not only have you lost your newly found kingdom, but Master Lot Yonan also didn't see it as necessary to inaugurate you in the conspiracy. And who cares? What game is being played here? Gandagar as king of the fourthlings is to supersede me as high king, but his mind is poisoned with hatred towards the elves. He would probably win a war Maybe against he them. he has a good reason. But he would weaken us, and Girdlegard would not be helped by this. I was hoping for a great coalition with the Elves, and even with the Thirdlings. I would have given anything to start the negotiations. Okay, so I will have to run In around like Aaron Boy. In times of great need, <sighs> for only the coalitions. common goal can count. And which role have you planned for me? Yeah, well, Aaron Boy. with you as a second aspirant, certain possibilities of protocol open up to us. Your plan has a flaw. Even if I were to light up, I couldn't win. No one on the How council knows that? for me. You don't have to win. Belendolin points to the Steelies in the throne room. It's written in our laws that the High King can oppose an heir if he isn't elected unanimously. He can then demand a duel or a contest in order to determine the winner. Oh my God! You Such want me a to contest fight? could take weeks, if not months, and it would win us some time. What kind of contest would you have us compete in? Gandagar is surely superior to me in many things. Everyone in the council will write a task on a piece of paper, and from them, the contest will be drawn. And this only once you have made a speech, and have won over as many as possible in the council to your side. The more sympathetic the council is towards you, the higher the hmm, chances funny. of a contest that fits your abilities. Speech? You're beginning to like this whole thing less and less. Beginning to like less and less. <laughs> Is this really I the best like for our people? At all. If you cannot dissuade Gandagar from carrying out his plans, it could end in a fraternal war. Don't worry. We'll open up his eyes and he will recognize the malice of his feigned friend. We just need time, and you must gain it for us. Mm, don't think so. I'm not sure. What if it goes wrong and we split the dwarves into two factions? We won't let it get that far. Totally knows but that. you, Tungdil, will have to help us. We will support you with all our power. You see, basically I have no You will not take this road options. on your own. I can click whatever right. I want. In the end, I will if still have to it, agree. I will follow your plan. Uh, see. No one acts more honorably than you, Tungdil. Uh, Belendolin smiles at you encouragingly. It's not good. You say well, Andakai may have just found a way to defeat Nodon, and she suspects that the Magus is possessed by a demon from the Outer Lands. 
It may be possible to kill this demon with an axe called Keenfire. I have commissioned armor that is worthy of a prince. It will be delivered mm. to your chamber by oh, sunrise. Can I have you a weapon, please? My axe sucks. In your stomach. You always thought that you were articulate, but the prospect of having to make a speech in front of the large council doesn't exactly fill you with elation. Look at the coal fire. The coal fire is lit when the kingdoms meet for council. It has lain dormant much too long, until it was finally lit again a few days ago. Be right back. So, where is my armor? Okay, there's something here. I should probably read what the hell is written there before I... Oh no, it's my room. Antikai, what is it? I came to return these books to you, Tungdil. Luckily, I was able to make sense <laughs> really? of it. Really? She just you dropped it. You observed how the Mega took time to study the books during your escape. They are records from the Outer Lands. They tell of demonic beings from barren ground who can take possession of humans and invest them with great power. Immortality, for example? The Mega nod seriously. They speak of an axe forged by the undergrounders called Keenfire. It is said to have the power to cut through the flesh and bone of the living and completely destroy the demonic spirit deep within their soul. No. I guess I will have to find it. Do you know these undergrounders? I have never heard of the undergrounders, but I've been to the outer lands before. So the dwarves are be groundlings. Terrible. 
The hordes of Teon have marched from there against our strongholds for thousands of years. It's not as bad as you think. It is certainly safer than a land in which a Magus possessed by a demon is on the loose. So you think a demon uh, from the outer lands has taken possession of Nudin? Seems so. He looked very different when I encountered him in Parista, and he rose from the dead even though you cut off his head. That can't be explained purely through the power of the perished land. And he wanted to prevent these books from falling into our hands. That would only make sense if Keenfire had the power to defeat him. Where is this keen fire? Yeah, where is I don't this know if this fire? weapon was ever forged. It requires rare materials and oh, masterful I guess craftsmanship. I will have to do it well myself. The purest, harder steel. Pure stone hard barbs steel. decorated with runes. A hilt of cigadaisy wood. Inlays made of all the noble metals. The blade studded with diamonds, smithed in the hottest forge. We are dwarves. We have the most talented craftsmen. And you have the cigadaisy wood. It is amongst the objects in your rucksack, which is fortunate as there are no more Sigurdaisies in Girdelgard. But even if you manage to forge the axe, it might all be just a fairy I want tale. Warhammer, it's not too axe. little to wager our lives on. We can get all the missing materials, as well as a gem cutter, here in the stronghold. After all, Gandagar and his fourthlings are here, a stonemason from the secondlings, and I can smith. The Mega looks at you thoughtfully. And for a short time, it seems as though your enthusiasm is rubbing off on her. But then she says, I wish you good luck, <laughs> Tungdil. Yeah, you get still lost. want to leave Girdelgard, but, but what will happen to your realm and, and all the other realms? I admire your optimism, my friend, but it isn't wise to stand in the way of a rolling stone. Mm. I don't wish to give up my realm, but I would only be prolonging the suffering unnecessarily. But you don't want to let the last Mega in Girdelgard go. Unfortunately, you can't think of anything that could cause her to stay. Many thanks, Honorable Mega, for all that you have done. And she's gone. I have a cheese. On table. There's cheese. A variety of cheeses, pickled cave mushrooms, toasted vault moss, and, and she some took his sausage. her night. Mm. The intense smell of the cheese. Mm. Where's my armor? Look Garen found an answer to the threat. Keenfire. No matter how difficult it is to forge it, we must do it. We don't know. You are looking forward to the first proper bed for weeks. You undress and lie. Really? But also when had to your be new commented. armor is brought to you the next oh, morning, yeah. you can hardly believe your eyes. However, as a smith, you can't stand the fact that you haven't contributed anything to it and decide to add some inlays. Even one who wears the armor of a prince can still be a farrier underneath it, don't you think, Tungdil Bolifar? Mm, what, what are you doing, doing here? here? Ignoring your question, Bislipur eyes you very exactly before he speaks. So, you want to be one of our kingdom? A foundling brought up by a wizard? One wouldn't think it possible. And I don't think it possible either. There is no proof of your origin, and Gandagar has the council on his side. But why don't you spare yourself the disgrace and just not turn up in front of the council? Because but I don't you care your opinion. Bed, Get lost. And we will take you into our kingdom. We will give you everything you need your whole life long. In exchange, you support Gandagar instead of challenging him. Yeah, this guy's bad. Proof? Oh, you mean like your letter that has been found after a thousand cycles and makes the elves responsible for the fall of the fifthlings? It is no secret that the elves are deceitful. And what could possibly be more suited to get one over on us than letting the perished land in and presenting us as the scapegoat? The elves have been displaced this by the perished land and are now almost eradicated. I said they are deceitful, not wise. 
Deceitful, not wise. Go and have nothing more to... Yeah, get lost. You have had enough of this dwarf. He makes you feel uneasy. No, he doesn't. Or worse still. Get out! A humanized bastard will not issue me orders. Yeah. Know your place, false dwarf. Hmm, you have gold on your hand. Can I take armor, please? The armor has been made by a master. Over the chain mail is steel plate, alloyed with gold in many places, which certainly appeals to you. There are also several decorative elements made of stone to honor its origin in the kingdom of the best stonemasons. You had just finished setting the last inlay, the seal of Lot Yonan, who brought you up and is gone when Bislipper interrupted you. Again, ah. Uh, pick it, please. Not only is it worthy of a king and fits me like a glove, but it should also offer me additional protection in battle. Hope so. So, how do I look like? I can't turn around now. Anything else? Is this... I think that's it. Let's go and challenge. That is why I, too, no, lodge a claim to the throne, and why I think I am the more capable heir. Thank you for your speech, Tungdil Bolifar. The I made a speech which I don't questions. even have ability to hear. Oops. Uh, second link, fourth link. Are there more? Yes, the dwarf from the second link kingdom over there. You say that a war against the elves would be madness. But how can such a young dwarf as you judge that? <laughs> You've hardly seen anything of the world, has he? Uh, it was a war against the elves. It's our duty to protect blah, blah, blah. If we get drawn into a conflict against the no elves, then here. we are no better than the Alpha who have fought with the elves for thousands of cycles. He's right. Well, of course we're better than the Alpha. Outrageous. I think yes? I will have Your no question? choice to call this Billisper. Just so I get this right. You want to forge a weapon a that is described in, in the bird. book of fairy tales from the perished land to kill a demon that none of us has ever seen? I have most definitely seen it, Goingar, yellow belly shimmer beard. Dum ba dum ba dum, I cannot prove that it's a solution, but it's our only option. In fact, these are bones from souls and cell doors must act. We have seen the perish land with our own eyes, and its master Nodon could not be killed. Many have died for the books in which it is written how keen fire can be made. And the Magus did Fairy all he could books. to get his hands on the two hearths made of Sigur Daisy wood. Those are the facts, whether you like them or not. These problems won't solve themselves, so I ask you, is it the Dwarven way to step aside and do nothing, or is it our way to act? To act? Uh, we don't hide away. If the humans won't stop the Parish Land, then we will. We shouldn't get drawn in. Let's show the Magus the strength of the Dwarves. Uh, this nothing well. you say will convince anyone here. You didn't grow up amongst us, and no one knows if you really are a fourthling. I do not believe there has ever been a more unworthy heir to the throne of the High King. You are just wasting our time. Actually, you are wasting my. Shouldn't dwarf deeds count more than his ancestry? I didn't know that you speak for everyone. A this new perspective is, is sure to be good for the dwarves. Best option, in my opinion. As an outsider, 
I will be a breath of fresh air and bring new ideas. This uh, might be true. We don't need to be told this by some spring chicken. We know ourselves what's best. Fresh air? Close the window. There's no reason to change anything. I have heard enough. The Council has heard the words of both candidates and must now make its decision. Those of you who wish to see Tungdil Bolifar, the returning son from the Fourth Link Kingdom, as my successor, raise Let's your axe. Let's see how many will raise axe for me. And those who wish to see Jandagar Silverbeard from the Silverbeards, the King of the Fourthlings, as my successor. I don't have Jandagar has received more votes. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Here's to Gandagar. Long live our new High King. However. The result was not unanimous, and as acting High King, I avail myself of my right to demand a contest between the aspirants. What is this? But he won the ballot. It's the rules. The High King has the right to do so. Respect! He is still the High King. Silence! He's you have king. heard the High King's command. Write down your challenge for the aspirants. What are you smiling at? At least I have armor now. Are you ready? For what? The one that masters this task first will become the High King. It is oh. an expedition. The trial is to hmm. lead a group to forge the axe Keenfire in the Grey Range, which can then be used to fight against the Magus Nod On. Ah. <sighs> An expedition into the perished land? Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant! You can't be serious. I played King's Boat in Legends, actually. I enjoy the lot. I call that a game. worthy challenge, don't you think? I call it luck, this one is a little Of weird. all the challenges, Bislapur draws this one. <laughs> yes. Luck. Expedition Vikings also was weird. I encountered bugs there where I couldn't continue. But One of my main story missions just did not. Don't demand this of me. Why me? 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 Give that, me food. Is complete. Who have you chosen as Mason? Oh, this is nice. Good Hammer. Day, gentlemen. Bavragar? The old drunkard? Old drunkard? He assured me he's the best stonemason here. The High King himself sent him. Well, I said I was precisely the stonemason you need. I didn't exactly say I was sent by the High King. You let yourself be tricked by a drunkard. I don't want him with us. Rest no, assured, Boindil, I too could imagine better company. But Tungdil gave me his word. Yes, I gave you my word. And as long as you are capable of doing the stonework needed for Keenfire, you are welcome. Girdle Guard is at stake here. I wish you no ill fortune, Tungdil, but also no good fortune. The throne belongs to me, and through my victory, Vrakus will show the clans. And who is that? The task is clear to the contenders. The first to forge keen fire and bring it back here has proven his abilities and will be our new High King to lead us in battle against Nod On. It will take months to complete the task. The journey to the Fifflings alone is a long and dangerous business. Dangerous, yes, but not necessarily long. Do you know the old tunnel system that connects the Dwarven Kingdoms? Tunnels are all well and good, but why should we get there so much quicker under the ground than over it? A knowing smile. 
Oei. Oké. Okay. Hey, dat is een lange conversation anyway. This is like a movie, you know? <laughs> like a play. Oh, yeah. This is fun. They can sell tickets to this. What our forefathers achieved here, isn't it? The kingdoms all work together. If we do the same, nothing is impossible. Hear, hear. Uh, here, here, what, why, where you said on coming? I'm sorry for asking. Yeah. Really should rain in your drinking. We need you in good shape. There are some who say I'm only the master of beer and not the master of stone anymore. Maybe he but don't is worry. better if he's drunk. I haven't forgotten. I can't forget. No matter how much I drink. Again, I don't have any options. Why you tricked me and why you were so set on coming with us? I have I will been have the master of stone for more than two hundred sun cycles. My work is admired all over Girdlegard. There has never been a better secondling mason than me. But today, I don't want to be remembered as a drunkard with the chisel trembling in my hand, but as Bavragor Amethyst. Undefeated master of stone who brought keen fire to life. I hope One not last masterpiece. Come on. I, I hope you understand me asking, but there seems to be bad blood between you and Boindil. It's nothing that will endanger our mission. We've just always hated each other. There's more behind it than commonplace hatred. Bavrigor doesn't react. His gaze is directed towards events that took place a long time ago. Hmm. Is it some I wonder why we haven't seen any sign of Gandagar recently. Perhaps they took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, I'm sure we'll reach the Fifthling Kingdom before them. And I arrived. We're not on the way to the Fifthlings. We are on the way to the Firstlings. Firstlings, no. We're probably already under the land of the Custodian. The Firstlings? Why? The Firstlings have been the best smiths in Girdlegard since the Fifthlings were wiped out. Only they can alloy Teonium and Palandium, which are actually mutually repellent. Anyway, we could use all the help we can get in the battle against Nodon, and... And... <laughs> As usual. I'll have to walk now. Damn, Goimga. Hey, everyone's okay. This one doesn't seem okay. <coughs> it burns. We won't get further this way, scholar. What now? It's Run. all your fault, you imposter. I was nearly killed, and for what? It is good that you are still alive. We need you for our mission. So you can steal a throne that doesn't belong to you. This Hatred is a glints in the gem cutter's eyes. And for a moment, you think he's going to attack you with the courage of desperation. Punish with disregard. I don't know. I kind of needs him. Ah. I'm starting to get tired of your wretched poison tongue, Goimga. We must work together, not against each other. My views are my business. As I am not here of my own free will, that is my only remaining right. Enough! Gather up all the materials we can still save. If we manage to reach the Firstlings, we can get anything we're missing there. And it should be less than 200 miles to their stronghold. 200 miles? After you have gathered together the materials, mm, you begin to search out. for a way out. And after a sweaty climb, you reach a door adorned with okay, runes. From here, Which direction? you enter a large cave with a waterfall covering a sun-drenched mm, opening. So far. You walk through the waterfall one after another. And after the unintentional shower, you find yourselves in Weyan, near the enchanted realm of Oromyra. 
You find yourselves on a plateau, and the river which falls as a waterfall here hides the entrance to the underground rail network. It then flows past a forest, behind which you can see a wall and tiled roofs. You check the map. That must be Mifidadia. We'll go through the forest to the city and see if we can refresh our supplies and buy some ponies. Okay, let's go. Boindil strikes up song during your hike. A short while later, Bavrigor joins in. But rather than actually singing along, he tries to outdo Boindil with his own songs. When he finally strikes up a love song, Boindil becomes absolutely livid. You take the stonemason to one side and ask him if he's doing it on purpose. Of course I'm doing it on purpose. I'm gonna make him suffer the whole journey. What a nice group. Can't go on like this. We can fight amongst ourselves and save Girdlegard. You take a short break These two hate you each other. That one hates everybody problem. else. To do with a woman, right? Not in the way you might think. Smeralda was my sister. A young thing of only 40 cycles. Bavrigor takes a large swig of his liquor before he continues. She was almost as belligerent as Boindil, and she got it into her blockhead to stand by him in battle. A bad decision. You can see the pain he is suffering in his eyes. You place a hand on his shoulder and put him under no pressure to carry on. That was it? Oh. The constant bickering between Boindil and Bavrigor distracts you. Goimgar. Here's the clanking of armor first. Something's coming! Before you know it, the orcs are charging towards you over a hillside. Orcs again. Okay, what level you are? Seven, six, eight. Don't reduce his health, he always starts battle with 80%. Well, I probably will take this guy with me. So you have health, you have... Hmm? Probably also health and what... Oh, this is highest level. Nobody likes... <laughs> he automatically attracts enemies. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what a good passive skill. Well, whatever. Let's start fight and see. Yes. Yes, yes. In training. Where are these guys? That will be safe, will it? Oops. Okay. What are your? George. Uh huh. Well, let's charge through them and, and what see what's now? the hell. Oh, you can jump. Is it something? Bad? Oh, this one has some nice stuff. Hide. Glass gems. Come on, go there. I need to go there, bro. Yeah? yeah. Okay, you can do some swinging now. What is it? Is it something bad? This actually has lame skills. What is it? Ah! Oh, he didn't hit you very hard. So, so many. So many. Uh huh? And what now? Yes. Huh? Is it finally yes. over? <laughs> it's 
finally. I think I will not take this asshole anymore. However, if he attracts enemies... What are these guys doing here? What do you want me to do? What is it? Jesus. And again. Vile creature. Come on. That will be safe, will it? On my way. Okay, let's go, Zero Zero Rice. I actually like that guy who had. And what now? Shut up. Oh, you're here. Is it something bad? What is it? S scaring. And again. Huh? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, Pondale. Pondale. The asshole. Yes. Huh? Can you jump? No, you can't. I want now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's stuck in. Bad luck for you. Oh, agreed. What do you want me to do? Yes? Huh? <laughs> Kill! Oh, yes. 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 That will be safe! Goodbye forever! And again! Anyone's ah, pleasure! If you insist! Oh, creature! Shit! Go, 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 go! Luck for you! Oh, of course! Oh, yes. 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 That will be safe, will it? Not really. Okay, oh. Huh? He yes? What is it? Mm, yeah, if I would know. I will tell you. Just kill already, so quickly. <laughs> These guys just standing there, wow. They are waiting for us to escape. Okay, we'll do this. You will do. No, you can't do that. And what now? Yeah! What is it? Oh, what is is that? Bad luck for He's you! Big. Just kill him. Oh, no, no, no! Come on, move already. Good idea. Oh, oh, yeah. That'll be safe, will it? And again. Angels die forever. He's pretty big. Just quickly kill him. Who's now? As good as done. There. Should oh, be oh, done. Hey. And I think these enemies are too close. One enemy is there, see? Which one is that? Uh, probably this one. What can I do now? <laughs> well, health is all back. I will probably have to kill this. Oh, Stop. What is it? Yes. 
Huh? What do you want me to do? Huh? <laughs> what is it? If you insist. Okay, retreat. Can't you? Come on. Huh? What is it? He is? Yes? Vile creature. Yeah, three enemies are nearby now. Two enemies. And big boy is coming. He's pretty big. He's pretty big. Who is pretty big? Is it finally over? Oh, yes. ah. oh, he didn't hit you very hard. Oh, oh, oh this one is also alive. Too easy. Oh yeah, finally. Gee. Ah, that was refreshing. Hey, here comes some more. Three, four, five, five or six. Five or six? Oh, phew. He means five or six hundred. Goimgar turns white as a sheet. That's too many. To the city. Come on. Yeah, I agree. Too many. <laughs> they were just standing and waiting for us to leave. Not nice. Can I level up some of this? Why I don't have any more food? Move there, please. You flee towards Mifidania with Goimgar out ahead. The orcs at his back seem to have mobilized unimagined powers in him, and he reaches the gate first, hammering manically against it. He says something and scurries through a small gateway that has been opened to him. Moments later, you also reach the gate. Get in, quickly! You push your way through the gate as the first orc arrows slam into the wood next to you. It's funny, they didn't open gates during night time, but now when orc army is behind us, they suddenly open gates. The other dwarf said we should bolt the gate behind him, but we could use all the help we can get when the orcs come. That treacherous sissy, where is he? Boendal and I will look for him. Boindiel and Babragor, help the city guards in any way you can. You were certain the two of them wouldn't be much help in the search for Goimgar. So, what do we have here? What is this? Weyern has many huge lakes, can and I is buy rich some in food, a variety please? of fish and seafood. Food. As the mountains of the dwarves are far away from these large lakes, most of the fish are not part of their normal diet. I don't care, I need food. <laughs> Give me some food. The fabulous Rodario. Hmm. Cometh, dear spectators, cometh and see! Let the theater curiosum with its star actor, the fabulous Rodario, the mysterious Nomora, and the genius Magister Technicus, Fergas, carry you off to another world. Now see and hear, dear spectators, the truth about Nudin the Knowledge Lusty, who disposed of the other Magi in a most horrifying way and plunged Girdlegard into disaster. <laughs> Good God, it will be mine. That's a cool disguise. Lock Yon. Yeah, give me back, Rucksack. 
If you're looking for provisions, you could have just asked me nicely. I'm not interested in what's in the rucksack. I only know that the Lord of the Perish Land wants it. So he will have it. Your master doesn't tell you much by the sound of it. Also Either he doesn't trust you, or he's in the habit of not talking about his business with servants. You feel the blade cutting into your skin, and you take it as a sign of a small victory. <sighs> and you murdered Frala and the others. I will have to go through all options. <laughs> to your horror, you realize that you can no longer talk. You feel a lump in your throat, and your eyes begin to burn as images of the vaults and Syntharas appear in front of you. I see that my first strike really hit you, Groundling. Oh, how they screamed. If only you had been there to help them. This way! What was that, an elf? If we're quick, we'll get that long ear yet. Alarm! Mm, alarm! No. The orcs are attacking! We will not get Come, in. we must defend the walls! What is this? Ouch. Uh, okay. I'm not sure I want this guy anymore with me. Really not sure. Okay. Mm Destroy all ladders. Huh? Okay. Return your life forever! As good as dust! And this is my hammer! Huh? Oh, what bad luck for you! Why are you here? What the hell? Go up! Come on! Huh? Jesus. Yes? <laughs> it's so hard to destroy ladders. What is it? What is it? Destroy the freaking ladders. Huh? What? Bad luck for you. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Pleasure. What pleasure? <laughs> yes. Okay, you will do that. You will do that. You will do. Yeah, you will do what this. What is it? You will do this. <laughs> What? No, you oh, you fell down, Tungdale. <laughs> a bit too much Sixteen orcs slipped past my defense. Destroy the freaking. Oh. What is it? What? What? Hmm? Yes. Friendly fire, really. Go, 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 go. He hardly put up a fight. Whatever they put, it's not good. Huh? Let's do this. Lots of fireworks. Destroy stupid ladder. And last one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Guys. Come on, come on, come on. Last one. Orcs, the porks. Don't take it personally. And what now? Right, right. Yes. This will be fun. <laughs> Shit! Oh my god! Killed myself. 
Holy crap. Oh, that was bad. Oh, and I have huh? low on health now. What is it? Should probably not use. <laughs> that was quick. Stop. Let's try again. Oops. Sorry. Blade storm. Come on, destroy this freaking ladder. Ladder, please. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Huh? You also? Yes. Oh, you can't do that. Hmm. Chi, you can only destroy your old friends. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh? Uh huh? Uh move. Out of my way! What is it? What is it? Oh, I can't do anything with you. Yeah. And that's done. Yeah. No, no, no. For you. Oh, that was quick. Nice time. Very good. We're able to stop them. Oops. Not really. Sinkerass. You wish it weren't so. But it is clear to you now that the city can no longer be saved. To the side gate, it's our only chance. Huh? He hardly put up a fight. <laughs> hardly put up a fight. Yes. Side side forever. Which side gate? Which is Oh yeah. Here is side gate. Go down. Down, 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 down. Come on, oh, this is so annoying sometimes. They are just not going where I want to go. Who's this way? And what now? Huh? What is it? Disgusting. Disgusting. I agree. Orcs are disgusting. It's locked. We have to open it somehow. Perhaps we can be of service, gentlemen. Step aside. Are you thieves? Certainly not. We are artists. People with extraordinary talents. Say, friends, as you clearly mean to leave Lifadania too, would you have anything against us joining you? Why we have a long and dangerous us. journey ahead of us. I don't think you really want to join us. An epic and dangerous journey? That sounds like an adventure. And anyway, I have already seen that you know how to handle those weapons of yours. In these dangerous times, a big travel group offers the best protection, don't you think? Yeah, it's if you're going the same way. The fabulous Not Rodario. the perish land. Oh, an admirer of my skills? Who would have thought it? I am indeed the one and only fabulous Rodario. This worthy gentleman here is Fergus, the best Magister Technicus since human thought. And Can you move and then speak the and not like that when work armies on your... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for envy. this conversation uh, to finish. we should discuss the rest when we are out of this mess. Yeah, that's what I told I you right like now. The orcs are still surging through the gate and over the wall. You decide that this isn't the right time for discussion. Finally. All right then, let's go. Let's get out of here. We'll be safe with the firstlings. The firstlings. The splendor of their halls is said to be unrivaled. And I have heard they have fascinating contraptions, Fergus, that are almost reminiscent of magic. It's open. Let's You go. are still talking.
Okay, <laughs> Fergus. This looks like pilot. Okay, what do you have? Force of Pendals, actions and attacks is reached significantly for a short time. Okay. Oh, finally I got some food, but I'm very low on food. Very low on food. And I have like eight characters with me now. You're kidding me. Where I can buy this stupid food? Where are you? Okay, how far? Oh. This is what? First link king down. First link, second link, third link, fourth link, seat. And probably I should go there. Let's go down. In the evening after your escape from Iphidania, you recover from your exertions around a again. campfire. Gorgar withdraws to a solitary corner. Text. Bavrigor devotes himself to his alcohol. This would and be the a good audio book. Get their smelly dwarf cheese like out. bedtime story, you know. Nomora and Fergus exchange hugs Lay and down, kisses on the other side of the fire. Earphones. While Rodario sits next to you. Ah, and a journey enjoyed. with real dwarves to the stronghold of the firstlings. I'm sure I can write that into my new piece. Oh my god, four options. Can I pass? There's no blah blah blah. What do you plan to do? We're far enough away from Mephidania. Perhaps we should part ways tomorrow morning. Rodario jumps up and begins to gesticulate ostentatiously. I think you have underestimated us. Let me introduce myself and my colleagues once more. I okay. am the fabulous. We don't have time to look after a pack of jesters. Rodario seems offended for a moment, but then he grins, <laughs> These bo both turns guys away are from overacting. the group, and raises his right arm. A jet of flame shoots out of his sleeve. The dwarves are startled and amazed by the brief spectacle. <laughs> and what do you say now, critical Mr. Dwarf? This one has a magical <laughs> ability. You're a magus. Yeah, I don't particularly obviously. like them either. At the Curiosum, magic is my area of responsibility. There is a tube under his arm with a flint and a bag full of lycopedia seeds. When he firmly presses the bag, the flint sprays sparks so and the scientist. seeds shoot out. Okay. And there you have it. Magic fire. The masterly work, Fergus. The Magister Technicus shows his appreciation with a nod of his head. If they all have tricks like this up their sleeves, oh, they might not be such a burden after all, Tungnil. They are eating my food. Oh yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> we don't exactly. Have we are happy to share what we have. It isn't very much, though. We had to leave most of it behind. Food is sure to be a problem on our journey. Agreed. Winter's only just beginning to leave, Wayan, and people will be keeping a tight grip on the stocks they do have because of the orc attacks. We have to be frugal and organize as much food as we can. It wouldn't be much of a heroic story if we starved on the way to the firstlings. It would not. Okay, can I... Okay, let's set a camp and continue. Our mission is okay. to forge the legendary axe Keenfire. Well, you to have to tell that to every Nordar. single one you meet, really. If you wish to accompany us really? to hunger, coldness and danger, uh... then do so. You decision. can make a sign. How Walk around could we not we are making in such fire. a story? Just think, what a wonderful play we could make of it. If we survive. I was hoping to only resurface once we reach the Red Range. Instead, we have a long journey and a dangerous climb ahead of us. Hmm. There may be another way apart from the old trading route. A few years ago, an old man from the north told me of a place Wackenstein. called Wackenstein. <laughs> Apparently, there is an old path there, older than the dwarven tunnels themselves. Legends and stories. There's too much uncertainty. Let's just see what the next few days bring. Mm, I don't know if I got some extra provisions. I will go to this sign because usually it means side quest 
You are Orcar walking Meia. past an inconspicuous corpse as Namora suddenly stops on the spot. Wait! We are not alone. Someone is Someone watching us. Someone is watching us. A, a trap? Of course. Okay. Die, scum! What are you doing? Why are you attacking us? We're dwarves too. We're on the same side. I see honest dwarves here, but they are accompanied by scum. I will free you of it. Mm. Oh, really? Erdlings. And what are you going to do on your own against eight? You. Mm, she's not come alone. here. What? Haha. <laughs> uh! Brother, what? What are you doing? Stop this. Boindil, Boindil, what's wrong? Come to your senses. It's no use. They belong to me. Now die, scum. Mm. It's funny. I will have to fight these guys. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, you have... Do you have anything? Oh, lady. And you also are gone, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> yes. Stop. What happens if I kill these guys? I mean, I don't want to kill them. Huh? I'm running ass yes. long. Yeah. Oh, you have some nice shadow step. It's close range only. Yeah? Okay, shadow. Oh. What's up? What's up? Nothing is up. He will have to. Well. Well? Oh, you have some ranged attacks. Okay, this is funny. Poison dart. Yeah! What else you have? You have um, merciless. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Can you jump? Please wait a what? moment. Hmm? Yes? What is this? Okay, this might be interesting. Okay. Well, now all please jump on this crap. Hammer. Yes, yes, soon. Just a minute. I'm not that quick. Oh yeah. Anyone is long. I can't hold them back. Of course you can't. Sweet you're stupid little girl. Yes, yes. Anyone? Yes, yes. I could do with some help. Um, why she has full health now? <laughs> I can't do this from here. Crap. This is good ability. I love that. Okay. Why tab is not working anymore? Okay, poison dart. Mm, I don't know about this. Yeah, I can't hit this one. Come on, stop, 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 come on, come on, god. Control. Arr. What? I think I won. <laughs> That's what happened. No sooner does the unknown dwarf fall unconscious to the floor than her control over your comrades disappears. 
You fed her and gag her until you know more about her sinister powers. All right, now I have to that feed one uh, more. I hope I didn't hurt Mouth. you, scholar. It was as if in a dream, but at the same time, it wasn't. I heard her voice in my head, and although I knew that could be better, useful. I only saw orcs attacking me. Control. You were the enemy. Boindil goes over to the shackled dwarf and kicks her gently with his boot. This is never a child of the smith, even if she looks like one. Those gifts. By Vrakas, there is something evil at work. You kneel in front of the dwarf and press your axe against her throat. My name is Tungdil. If I remove your gag, will you answer some questions? The captive nods, and you pull the gag out of her mouth. Geralda is my name. Geralda? It would seem I underestimated you. Your powers, I've never heard of anything like it. Neither have I. I haven't had them for long. When I try to remember, all I see is black mist and I taste iron and mud and there's an alf who... Oh. <sighs> Did the alpha give you these powers? When I try to remember, it hurts. Like needles sticking into my head. I am Gerelda Bloodstone. I am... I was... Oh. <laughs> Where have you come from and what brings you to Wayan? I was on my way to the Free Folk. They are said to live in the middle of Girdelgard, without kingdoms or their laws. The Free Folk? You mean dwarves? Yes. Dwarves who have left their kingdoms, voluntarily or otherwise. Not everyone has a place in their kingdom. You instinctively think of your own plight. You are not a secondling and won't be welcome among the fourthlings since you placed obstacles in their king's path. Don't believe this nonsense, scholar. The free folk are just a fairy tale that people tell themselves when they don't want to stick to the traditions. Just look what good it's done Geralda. Geralda prepares to reply, but then she holds back. Yeah, I'll have you said to go about through all options. You attacked us. Has Namora done anything to harm you? Not her, but her kind. Alpha. She is a human. She only acts at being an elf in theater. In the theater? For the first time, Geralda looks at Namora without a hateful expression. She. She must die. Enough talk! She is dangerous, probably crazy. She attacked us, we should put an end to her. It's what you call amnesia, memory loss, a tool often used in stage productions. We don't know what happened to her, and maybe Too she doesn't either. Stage we can't just kill her. <laughs> we can kill whatever we want. Um. She's too dangerous just to let go, so well, we'll take her with us. Remove the fetters. You nip any objection in the bud and turn to Geralda. Listen. I don't know what has happened to you, but I could we use her powers. Dwarves, and we shouldn't fight against Probably one another. We just kick her with out. The female dwarf seems just as surprised by your decision as your companions. I... thank you. I would be happy to accompany you. I so now you're happy. Of the Fourthling Kingdom. I'm sorry that I attacked you. It was a misunderstanding. You realize that your decision doesn't please everyone. Boindil and Namora seem particularly upset. But they hold back, and you continue on your way. A slightly gloomy mood hanging over the group. I am getting more and more. My party is getting bigger, and my food is getting scarcer. Okay, what do we have? Dragon's Breath. And set fire to enemies in half circle in front. This is cool. Wow. Stunt. Earthquake. Yeah, these powers are strong. I don't know which one to use. This is like half circle in front for multiple enemies, but these are stunned. Like can always reset this. 
Six, really? Six provisions? Crap. Well, let's go here. Orc army. When you enter the pretty little yeah. village with its richly ornate houses and its temple to Palandial at its center, you can see an angry mob some distance away. The villagers are hassling a young woman, insulting her and pushing her to the ground. I need food, not more. <laughs> Our team members. A man dressed richly confronts the woman. Have you no shame robbing a temple of Palandial? The crowd cheers and many vociferously demand that the woman be hanged. You could have Why hanged? Us, but Burning you is better. Is that in the spirit of Palandial? You step out of the crowd and confront the priest. Tell us what happened. The villagers grumble, but the priest gives the woman a chance to defend herself. My name is Tavia. I was forced to flee Tabayin with my family when the perished land began to spread. My husband, he... We had to leave him behind. Why? The horror in the woman's eyes gives you a good idea as to what became of her husband. Mm. No one accepted us in the north. There are too many refugees and everyone is scared. Queen Wei has offered land in Wei and to anyone who will work hard for it. But what should we grow if no one will sell us grain? We offered a fair price, but Father Malin... She darts a scathing gaze at the priest. He wanted double the amount. The priest glances briefly at the angry villagers. Then he replies in a firm voice. It was a hard winter. And with the increasing frequency of orc attacks, we sense. must I mean, think of ourselves first everyone. and foremost. Even we cannot help everyone. The bystanders mutter in agreement. I don't know. We can investigate. What matter? The accusations are serious, so let's get to the bottom of the matter to be completely sure. We have no doubt that she did it! The priest looks at the villagers standing around him, the lust for blood written in their faces. On the other hand, before we do something we can't undo... Dissatisfied murmuring grows, which the priest debates with mollifying gestures. Search for your evidence. You there, lock this woman up in the guardhouse in the meantime. The woman is taken into a squat building made of rough blocks of stone. The crowd slowly disbands. Okay. You enter the village's large storehouse. The ground floor of the two-story building is full of turnips with large <laughs> really barrels and clay pots on the floor and adventures. on high shelves. Several villagers are carrying out stock taking. They're being supervised by a weedy man who observes them with a grim expression and writes things on a wax tablet every now and then. Work is in full swing. The man with the wax tablet grumbles now and then in agreement when one of the peasants shouts out a number to him. It shouldn't take too much longer until they finish the inventory. There are sacks piled up on top of one another on the first floor. They are most likely filled with different kinds of grain and, judging by the omnipresent white dust, flour. Flour, it's too dark here. Come on. Oh, really? You That'll look be around funny. for a portable source of light. Can anyone see a candle or a torch? I need a light. I wouldn't recommend that. The yeah, Magister flour Technicus is has followed you into the storehouse. Flammable. One spark could ignite the flower dust. We sometimes use the effect when we want to create huge balls of fire on the stage. I think we could do without huge balls of fire in here. No, we can't. But we have, we'll have to. You walk towards the only area in the storeroom where you can see the floorboards. You hesitate as your boots slip on the floor, as if you're walking on mud. Tongue deal. The Magister Technicus carefully observes the roof beams above the empty corner. He grabs at a beam and crumbles something between his fingers. You can't make out what it is, so you copy him and feel damp, rotten wood. It's very easy to pull away small pieces. What are you doing here? The man with the wax tablet is standing on the stairs. He sounds half angry, half shocked. No one is allowed in here. 
<laughs> if no one is allowed, why are you doing you here? here? No one is allowed to be here. I'm allowed to be here. It's my job. I'm the steward of the temple. Morris is my name. The rain has gotten here. The roof and the floor are damp. Those savages. It wasn't enough that they steal from us. They had to damage the roof, too. What? That was probably where they got in. The wood didn't start to rot yesterday, good man. The steward's face turns bright red. And you are the experts on such things, are you? Assuming the roof here has been leaky for a long time, what would have happened to the grain in the sacks directly underneath? Wouldn't it have turned rotten? The man wets his lips. His gaze darts around the room. The roof was fine. I'll have it repaired. And now, get so out of this here. Guy the steward angrily blocks off all further attempts at talking to him. And Rain. even when you threaten him with Father Malon, it doesn't have the desired effect. The father trusts in him, he says, and he's always been a devout follower. The heavy door of the storehouse closes behind you, and you hear a bolt sliding into place from the inside. Well, I know what happened, but... The priest is lost in thoughts, standing in front of the temple, as if he couldn't decide whether to go in or not. Why would he believe some stranger? The roof of the granary is leaky. We saw some rotten wooden planks. Again? Morris only had the roof repaired last summer. Did he? If he didn't, some of the grain would have got damp and rotten. Out of the question, Morris would have reported that. He checks the grain once a month and there were no complaints. The priest has absolutely no doubt in what he is saying. Often a sign that someone hasn't thought things over. Hmm. Supposing Tavia really did steal the grain and supplies, but only to save her family. Would you turn a blind Stupid eye? Stupid question. Palandio teaches generosity. But that too must have its boundaries. We cannot help everyone. At some point there won't be enough for us. So, if you had sold the grain, the people of Seton would have starved? Maybe not. Not yet. But if we always give everything we have away... No one is saying always, and no one is saying everything. The priest shrugs his shoulders apologetically. He doesn't wish to spoil things with his flock. I was wondering, and? what was here first, the temple or the village? Ah, a keen eye. The temple is indeed much too big for such a small village. It was built on the foundations of an old stronghold when salt was found nearby. The village has grown over the years in the shadow of the temple. Good people live here, honest and pious children of Pilandiel. He glances at the place where the woman was surrounded. Why can't we just be left in peace? You nod goodbye, <coughs> and the priest returns to the gesture. Oh, yeah. You enter the guardhouse, and before the guards know, Boindil and Boendal have caught them up in a friendly conversation. Shielded from the view of the guards, you exchange a few words with the suspect without being disturbed. She didn't steal. Where have you taken the grain and supplies? I don't know anything about grain or supplies. Apart from the fact that we could do with both, I'm telling you, I am innocent! I know. This guy doesn't. We won't let anyone do anything to you, but if we are How going to you help you, that? you'll have to tell us the truth. The woman looks you in the face, then her head sinks, and when she looks back up, she has tears in her eyes. Please. I just want to go back to my family. I don't know what happened. I know. <clears throat> Tongue deal. You feel sympathy towards the woman. You raise your hand to silence Rodario and nod to the woman to continue talking. We asked for grain and were full of hope when we saw the well-filled granary. But we hadn't reckoned on the malice of the people here. A slow, ironic clap sounds from behind you. Confused, you turn around to face Rodario. Bravo, my dear, with tears and everything. Tough luck that a master of the art of acting is present. None of what she said corresponds with the truth, Tangdil. She is lying and Why trying to deceive us. So? Not completely talentless, 
For an amateur. You expect the woman to deny everything, but when she overcomes her amazement, she spits in the actor's face. <laughs> and what if I am? I would do it all again. The people here have more than mm, they so need, and my people are stolen. starving. Is that fair? Spit it out. Where are the spoils and your people? I'd rather die than tell you that. The woman looks at you determinedly, and neither of you blink. Why did you come back here after stealing the grain and supplies? Yeah, it makes no sense. We didn't steal them. We paid for them. A reasonable price uh, just not to throw them out. You had help. He promised us three dozen sacks of grain. When we opened the sacks in our hideout, we realized that most of the grain was rotten. He thought he'd get away with it. The woman looks around wearily. And by the looks of things, he has. Morris the steward offered you the grain, didn't he? What does that matter? I've no proof it was him. And even if I did, if I admit that we have the stuff, I'll be hanging from a tree by this evening and my children will starve. I beg you, let me go. We bought the grain and the supplies. Perhaps... Perhaps he wasn't allowed to sell it to us, but we paid and with a little seed we can sow at least some of us have a chance of surviving the year How can I trust you you lied who wouldn't do everything to offer their children a future lying is the very least mm, Not really Might show Clemency don't think you should be locked up I'm letting you. I don't think that. Well, you've stolen, no matter how you put it. But perhaps Father Malin will show clemency if you return the grain. Not the clemency best option. Clemency for me and a death sentence for my family. Never. I don't want you to be hanged just because you tried to support your family. Go. You open the door. The guards jump up, take up their swords, and let their hands sink down again when they feel the axes of the dwarves against their throats. The woman lays a hand on your shoulder for a moment as a sign of gratitude before she runs from the guardhouse. I hope you know what you're yeah. doing, scholar. I also Rodario's hope. furrowed brow does not give you the feeling you've made an undisputed decision. Namora, find out where she's heading and then rejoin us. Fergus wants to raise an objection, but before he can think of the right words, Namora has kissed him on the mouth and has disappeared round the next corner. You that leave the guardhouse and explain your plan to Father Malin. You expect him to object, but he seems to be satisfied. You assume he'll make you responsible for everything if something goes wrong and will claim a piece for himself if you are successful. Piece of what? So now what? Like every night in the wilderness, you set up camp and assign the watch. Bavrigor takes first watch this evening, while the rest of you sit by a small fire, toasting some bread. You're not particularly surprised that neither Bavrigor nor any of the others notice the guest who suddenly appears out of the darkness next to you. Nomura! Fergus jumps up, and moments later has embraced her tightly. Were you able to find out anything? She didn't detect me and led me straight to the hideout. I can show you. It's a cave some miles off from the path. Mm. Almost four dozen people, men, women, and children. You nod. You have tracked down Tavia's hideout. Yeah, but the problem is what to do now. <laughs> Tavia's hideout. Wackenstein. Anyway, I will have to go today and be back tomorrow. I can probably play this game for a couple days, I don't know, we'll see. I'm still in search for a good game. Have fun guys and see you tomorrow.